Pink Floyd says have a cigar, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Although, not yet, because you can't smoke inside. Everybody knows that's against the rules. I'll do that later today. Now we're going to check out Pink Floyd's track called Have a Cigar. This is a classic song, and as far as I understand, it's written from the perspective of a record label executive. He's trying to capitalize as much as possible and monetize the fame of the band before they fade from the limelight. Now we're going to see what we can learn from these expert composers in Pink Floyd and if you want to go deeper in your understanding of music, check out my free music theory email newsletter. You get free tabs, guitar tricks, and tips. That'll be below in the description. You can take your understanding of music theory even further by checking out my full course 50 plus videos on every topic in guitar technique and music theory. And if you want to reach the full level 69, 666, 420, you have to sign your soul away to me on Patreon. It's a small cost if you think about it. You get all my courses tabs, reaction request power, and a direct line to me. Plus free cigars for life. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, let me get some WAP juice up in me, and we're going to check out Pink Floyd's Have a Cigar. <laughs> Disgusting. You can grab those shirts below. I'm going to get my cans of power on. And we're going to get into it here. David Gilmore is ready to make some magic. This guy is something else. Here we go. There he is, playing with this wood. Playing with this wood again. Stroking that hardwood. There's Roger Waters on bass. Oh, wait a minute, is that still Gilmore? It might still be Gilmore. And now there's, this is from their Pompeii. This is weird, because it's not, uh, doesn't look like it's the same song. Anyway, we still love you. There's Roger. Walter. Richard Wright on keys. So this is like the key of E minor. It's kind of fluctuating between Aeolian and Dorian. Have a cigar. Let's have a cigar. Die, son. They're gonna love you. The crowd's gonna love you. Just do what we say. Make us money. We want six, six, six dollars per hour. What a great voice. And you see the cameras. The, the Pink Floyd sound is so good, the way all the elements harmonize. Everything has its space in the mix. you got the organ sound, the modulation effects on David Gilmour's guitar. The bass is right in the pocket with the drums. It's really an incredible experience. I'm not going to tell you the name of the game, son. I'm going to keep that hidden from you. Chromatic approach there is cool. G, F sharp, F sharp, F. Of course, F stands for Fa Rankenstein. And then back down to home base E. how they have the uh, the 
studio footage. It was sort of like, you know, documenting the process. Well, the lights. Everybody else is just green. Everybody else is just green. Roger's just a baby. Look at that baby face. It's like negative 6.9 years old. Richard's got on his sweater, Christmas sweater. Beautiful chorus. Give it to me, David. Now he's gonna play with his G string a little. The footage isn't is different than what we're hearing. You know, that's not him playing that solo there. Now there's like flashes of Dorian with that C sharp note. That's Aeolian. And then it goes kind of backwards. C, G, F sharp, E. What an inspiring place to play where the gladiators fought to death. There's musical mogul gladiators. let that music heal your soul, let it soak in to your nether regions. I love that organ sound. A little bit of funky vibes here. Oh, there he's hitting the Lydian sound. Big change in tonal dynamics there. Way out. Wow. Such deep emotions in Pink Floyd's music. Now, what did you think of that song? Is it their best? Is What's Pink Floyd's greatest track? Obviously, everybody knows the greatest guitar solo comes out of Comfortably Numb, but that's not the only good solo that DG plays, David Gilmour, right? That was an epic solo. He's got a ton of solos that could be considered the best. Another Brick in the Wall is also fantastic. Break through that brick in the wall in your own plane by signing up for my free Music Theory email newsletter. This is good stuff, guys. No cost to you. Free guitar tabs, tricks. And uh, you can go deeper by getting my full course. That's 50-plus videos on all of the topics in music theory and guitar technique imaginable. Um, you know, beginner to pro. But then you've got my Patreon page, which is everything. That's like the accumulation of my life's work. Uh, roughly, let's see if I had to guess, it'd be 666-69420 hours of content. It's a lot. Check it out. Until next time, have a cigar, but not really because smoking's bad for you. Just uh, smoke a figurative cigar or maybe have some WAP juice. Cheers. Ah. Uh. <laughs>